Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where we're going to explore everything about the captivating realm of crystals. And today I am thrilled to introduce you to a gemstone that excludes an unmistakable aura of mystery and beauty, and that is the mesmerizing malachite. So in this video, we're going to embark on a journey to the enchanting world of malachite a stone that has captivated humanity for centuries with its stunning colour and fascinating properties. But before we dive into the depths of this crystal, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on any notifications so you won't miss any of our crystal videos. I'm here to help inspire, educate and empower you on your crystal journey. So let's get going. First of all, we're going to start with its form. So malachite is formed from copper, which gives it its beautiful green color. When you see the copper roofs on old buildings like churches and banks turning green in the open air, this is similar to what happens to the copper that helps to make malachite. The copper minerals near the earth's surface often alter when they're exposed to cooler temperatures, water and air. So this is how malachite is formed. It's a type of copper ore and it's usually found in lumps and bumps or tiny crystals. Malachite polishes up to become really shiny and it's often used as ornaments because it's quite a soft substance so it's easy to carve and work with. So now we're going to look at its history and lore. Malachite with its vibrant green hues and unique patterns has been cherished for centuries for its aesthetic appeal and its spiritual significance. It has a rich history and a wide range of uses, making it a favourite amongst crystal enthusiasts and collectors too. Malachite gets its name from the Greek word malosh, which refers to the mallow plant and in particular its deep green leaves. The Romans also carved malachite into great stone vases and sculptures, but the stone was hugely venerated by the ancient Egyptians too. So they would wear malachite as jewellery and carve it into ornaments as well as amulets and scarab beetles. People would even carve the image of the sun into the stone as a form of protection. Malachite can also be ground down into a powder, which can then be used as a pigment. It was widely available to the ancient Egyptians because it was mined there in Egypt. And as I said, they use it for all sorts of different things like pigments, protective amulets, um, using for their hieroglyphs as well, possibly as early as 4000 BC. Many different cultures believe that malachite helped protect children in particular from evil spirits. And it was thought that malachite could help to detoxify your emotions, to help heal negative and painful emotions, as well as traumas and even soothe traumas from your past lives. Next, we're gonna look at its healing properties. So malachite is a hugely diverse stone. It's a great protection stone and it helps to repel negative energies from the surrounding environment and just flush them away. It supports you with bravery and wisdom and helps you become intuitively aware of any negativity or negative people um, who are coming into your, into your path. And it helps you to make the decision to move away from that negativity perhaps. Malachite is also your personal cheerleader. It encourages risk-taking and change and really helps to push you out of your comfort zone. The stone helps you to break through any negative routines and any old patterns that you've been repeating. So if you're looking for a change in your life, I would definitely recommend Malachite. It encourages you to take responsibility for your actions and to take that step, for that step forward in releasing any self-consciousness that you may have. Malachite is a great tool for helping those with dyslexia and mental illness. It also helps you to heal from old traumas too. Now we're going to look at your physical body. So malachite used to be favoured by alchemists and healers many years ago. And it's easy to see why because it just has so many uses. It's used to keep blood pressure down because of its calming effect. It's also helped or believed to help with broken bones and torn muscles and it's said to help with things like arthritis and swollen joints because of its copper content. Copper is often associated with helping soothe things like arthritis. Malachite is also the stone for travelers because it's said to soothe travel anxiety in the mind. I recommend taking this stone with you next time you travel on a plane 
to help you fly in a calmer state of mind. Malachite has a strong feminine energy, so naturally it helps with periods, cramps, mood swings and potential PMS. It also helps with blood flow during labour, so it's earned its title as the midwife stone. It's good for soaking up nuclear energy and earth radiation too. Now we're going to look at the chakras, namely the heart chakra. Malachite, like most green stones, is associated with the heart chakra. It helps to clear away any blockages in your chakra and to help the chi flow again and help you feel cleansed and refreshed. By opening up this heart chakra, you're more accepting of unconditional love that is coming your way. And who doesn't want that? Um, but it also helps the solar plexus chakra, which is down here, so that you feel more grounded. And it also helps with the third eye chakra to help you tap into your intuition and to open yourself up more to the spiritual realm. Now, how do you use Malachite? Well, Malachite is great to use for so many things as, as we've looked at. Not only does it work as great home decor pieces, but it also makes perfect jewelry, which is why it's great to make sure you always have these perfect crystals on you at all times and jewelry is the perfect format to do that. You can also use it during meditation to enhance your experience and to help you really achieve, like think about what you want to achieve with this crystal. It's a great protector of negative energies and by putting some malachite by, by your front door, it will stop any negative energy from coming into your home. It's also really good on that topic to, talk, to pair with tourmaline or hematite, which then kind of helps to enhance those protective energies. So again, I totally recommend putting those by your front door. So that is everything there is to know about malachite. Thank you all so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more crystal and spiritual based content soon. Thank you very much. I hope you have a lovely day. Stay happy and blessed be.